going on guys Etika from the Etika World Network here and um, before we get into the video topic itself actually I wanted to talk more in detail about the shirts now a lot of people have been asking me exactly when I was going to make the campaign go live and um, it is actually being done right now so I wanted to talk more about the details with you guys before we move forward um, and just to go more into specifics here um, there's gonna be two styles $12.99 each for both of them it's more of a minimalistic design it has my logo I'm wearing the shirts now as you can see and um, I, I, I fucking love them. Like, I, I, I'm going to be fucking real with you, dudes. Like, I think they're fucking awesome. But that's just my opinion, though. Um, but, yeah, there'll be two styles. Um, there'll be the regular t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. And then there'll also be a tank top, as you can see right here. And, yeah, as you can, yeah I also have the tank tops available here as well, too. So, you can see the tank tops right there. Um, you might have seen me wearing some of the tank top ones in my previous videos. But I figured as much, you know... I, I know some people are in hot ass areas and you know a tank top is better for them and I like wearing these in general just to hang around the house and shit but yeah so $12.99 for both of them um oh and then the back also has the uh my logo on it yeah so that's pretty it's pretty nifty I think but yeah so that's the case with t-shirts and the tank tops and um it's also cool because I wanted to the reason why I took so long with the campaign is because I didn't want to like have something available for you dudes to spend your money on without knowing if the quality was going to be good or not. So I had every single shirt and every single style um, ordered, which cost a lot of fucking money. It was mad expensive, but um, I had everything sent to me, paid for it all, and I wanted to see exactly the quality of the shirts and to ensure that the quality of the printing was good as well too. And sure enough, it is. Everything is top notch here. Now you can see that I chose for the shirts um, to be Teespring Premium which is basically the same amount of quality as the American Apparel, which you can see right here. It's the same quality, just not with the American Apparel name. Um, either way, the Teespring Premium is a lot better than the Hanes, so you're gonna be getting quality. I, I, I have the shirts right now, I have all of them. Um, I have like 13 styles, and I can tell you right now, they, those shits, they're good. They're good shirts, trust me on that. Um, and so, with the goal, um, I put the maximum amount that you could, just in case if the shirts do manage to sell that much, the campaign doesn't end early. Because I think if you put it like lower, or whatever you put the goal as, I think it, I think it stops the campaign. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, I maxed it out so that way as many people can get these things as they need to. And if it does manage to somehow sell this well for them both, if it does manage to, then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the money to buy new cameras, extra cameras, so that way I can do these future segments and um, I don't want to tell you the details of them well okay I'll tell you a detail I'll tell you a detail, I'll tell you a detail. showing you dudes this I really shouldn't be showing you but man <laughs> what do you think this is for huh what do you think it's for huh I don't know I don't know but yeah I have a lot of future plans with that in mind but I need multiple cameras so that's where the money would be going if this did manage to sell that well and if there's any surplus I'd be using it for food bills rent utilities keep my lights on and shit and um, this is gonna go live right now actually um I'll have it for seven days because I don't want to make it for too long um yeah this seems pretty good to me so um how do we make this live and as you can see front and back design $12.99 for them both I'm rambling about this way too long as it is but um all right here we go launch a title is required well whatever either way I'll work on this on my own but um just wanted to bring the idea up with you guys um let me know what you think about it I think it's gonna be great it should be live by the time this video goes up so whatever anyways guys there's a topic in regards to Splatoon that we need to talk about and of course now this all breaks down to the whole leaks thing and um, I just want to make sure that you dudes understand. I don't believe this is real in the slightest but it's still fun to talk about and um, there's a potential that this could be real. Very slight. In fact, it's probably 99% fake at this point but um, you never know. Either way guys, let's get into the details right now. So, Rhett Reela sent this to me and it's an image that everyone has been talking about on my Twitter feed so of course I wanted to talk about it as well so I could dispel people in terms of you know thinking if it's real or fake obviously it's fake because this was apparently posted on the Japanese Twitter page for Nintendo which I looked at in full detail and there was nothing like this posted there and on top of it all why would Jap um, why would the Splatoon pan of Japan on the Nintendo page in Japan actually post something with the text of the tweet itself being in Japanese but then make the image itself in English 
obviously it's not real and I want to ensure that people understand this so hey at least now you guys know um, it is something that stems from a very credible source though when it comes to the Octarians being playable because if you think back um, NW player shout outs to her she managed to actually get things working to the point where the Octarians seemed like they were extremely easy to play like I'm not sure exactly what the details were but apparently she was able to see that the Octarians and the recent Splatoon update were much easier to access on the disc. In fact, being only a simple slot number change, whereas, like the, for example, the Inkling Boy was one, Inkling Girl was two, and Octarian was three, and it wasn't that easy to access before, she noted that and said, holy shit, wait a minute, this thing is going down. Like, like you can see the Octarians are way easier to access on the disc, which could potentially mean that they're coming up as future selectable characters. This is all the rage about two weeks ago to talk about, so that's where this leak is probably stemming from, but obviously it's not real. It was kind of not put together too well, but um, still, man, the fact of the matter is, is that the Octarians, for some strange reason, were made to be a lot easier to select with just simple surface editing on the um, ROM rather than being able to, you know, have to dig into the game to get them. What does it mean? We don't know for a fact, but at least now you understand that this leak is definitely not real, and on top of it all, where it stemmed from, and the potential that it could be something in the future. But as of right now, Nintendo's been mum about if Splatoon is going to have playable Octarians, um, Octoring, Octorings? Well, I don't know. Either way, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.